Hey, what's going on guys? This is Kedar here. And maybe you want to do home automation. Like for example, you want to control your lights automatically when you enter your rooms. Let's say your pan automatically turns on when there is a too much heat. Or let's say you want automatic gate for your home. So when vehicle enters your home, it will automatically open or close it and stays locked during night times. But you don't have the knowledge and the equipments to do this kind of a home automation. Well guys, today I have a really simple product for you. You can install in your home and get simple level of home automation started. So getting our first steps into home automation. Today we are going to control our home lights with our smartphone and we will also measure our home's power consumption and things like that with the simple little device. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Hey, what's going on guys? This is Kedar here. And today I have a special devices for you. This is a Sonop power measuring device that you can connect to your home and measure the power consumption of your home and things like that. There is even more to this device so let me get to the details in a moment. This device is a Wi-Fi control switch so you can quickly switch your uh, devices on and off using your smartphone. So guys without wasting any time let's get right into the devices unboxing and let's see what you can do with these devices. So first of all guys these are the boxes. You can see the features are listed over here. So you can remote control any appliances. You can time it, schedule it and also you can share the control of this device to another account. In the Sonop power measurement you can do the same things but there is more to it. You can also measure the power consumption and uh, the detailings in the power consumption is just incredible guys. That's why I'm bringing this device to you. You can also measure like a power factor, uh, the reactive power and things like that. So yeah, it's a very interesting little device. Considering the price of this uh, Sono Basic, which is a normal Wi-Fi switch, it's like something like a five dollars. So it's a very affordable one. Whereas this Sono Pow R2 is something like a ten dollars or fifteen dollars, depending on where you get it. So the wiring details is uh, very simple. So you can prefer the manuals. So let's keep it aside and let's get directly to the devices. Okay guys, so this is the Sonop Basic. You can see this panel just came right up. And uh, this is a uh, live and neutral input terminals. And uh, these are the output terminals. This is a screw terminal so you can easily install your devices without even have to solder it. Now if you want to just switch on and off your devices well Sonop basic is just for you but if you want to monitor the power and all that kind of stuff well Sonop Pow R2 is the best choice for you guys there are a live output terminal and these two terminals are the earth this is the live input and these both are the neutral input and neutral output now here you can see the terminal mm, block is kind of a very interesting you have to push it and then slide in the wire and then you can install your terminals so it's fairly easy you, you don't even need like a screwdriver you can even push it with your hands let me show you guys how you can install this device and set it up so that it can work flawlessly so upon scanning the QR code this is the app you have to download it this is a AV link smart home so let's open it and you can see we have to set up our devices now with our router. This plug carries 220 volts AC so be careful to handle it. And I'm going to connect this plug for the input terminals and this bulb, this 100 watt bulb will be our output device. So that's pretty much all you need and an extra screwdriver so that you can push these terminals. Well speaking of the connections. The output bulb is connected to the outermost terminals of the Sunup. You can see the output live terminal and this is the neutral terminal. 
then the input red wires are going to the live input over here and to the neutral terminal so that's pretty much it guys so let's connect this device to the AC power supply now you can see it is provided with the power so it's live B safe now you can see guys the blue LED is flashing over here this is a Wi-Fi symbol so let's see yeah we can turn it on and off without even setting it up with our Wi-Fi network okay guys so let's connect our sun up device with our smartphone so let's push this plus icon and use quick pairing and add one device and you should be connected to your 2.4 gigahertz network and then long press the button onto the sun up and then click on next and after some time the pairing process will be complete our device is connected successfully now you can see if I tap on to this power which is this sun off you can see it's right now in off state but I can turn it on using this button and you can clearly see it's working so if I put my hands over it you can see 110 watts of power consumption and this much current is being consumed let me turn it off you can also uh, preview the graphs of the daily consumption and the real-time consumption you can measure into the settings you can see uh, we have like OPS which means uh, based on the set parameters uh, you can turn off the device so this is basically like over parameter protection or something like that so, so this uh, basic device to my uh, tube light I have connected over the bench so let me show you this is the front tube so you can see by the reflection there it is turning on it's uh, relatively quick I mean the data is going through the Chinese server and <laughs> now check this out guys this is a sonar power device we have just paired to our EVLink application so you can see the voltage current and power it's not much fancier than that can turn on and off but what's the point of this guys if this device has a lot of potential why to hide this potential that's where this uh, EVLink application I don't like the application because they are hiding too much now you can see this is the uh, another of my Sunup device the same kind of a device Sunup Power R2 but I have installed Tasmota firmware onto it and you can see there is more data available to you and you can take advantage of all those readings I mean you don't have to do any physical modification you just need to install a firmware and that's basically like few clicks through your computer device and yeah that's pretty much it guys we have AC voltage current and the power consumption and this is where the uh, EVLink application stops the more readings that you get is uh, apparent power reactive power power factor the kilowatts per hour uh, energy consumed today yesterday and for the total period of the time that this device is on so this is so much good guys why not have more stuff when you can these readings are just tip of the iceberg I'm planning to do a video on how to install Tasmora into your Sunup device in the next video so let me know what do you think about this if I go into the console here I, there is basically a command line thing into this sun up device and I can uh, type in various commands and do lot of stuff recently I have been doing lot of home automation experiments like controlling your lights TV you even opening gates and all that stuff you know guys so let me know if you want to see those now I hope you enjoyed this video a lot guys hit that like button share this video subscribe to my channel and there is always thanks for watching guys see you in the next one